so in this video we will continue our discussion on constructors so let's see uh, what we have now in the employee class we have the single property uh, then we have the default constructor uh, in the constructor we are printing some message on the console then we are setting the id with a static value then there is uh, this w method uh, which represents something that we have to do as part of the initialization process and it prints some print something on the console some task and in the main class we are creating the employee object and printing the id and if we run this program on the console we see the message uh, from the constructor then uh, because we are doing something we are calling this method so we see the message on the console and then the id so let's say we have to change something the id field is static so we decided to add a new parameterized method uh, constructor to make it dynamic so we added a new constructor parameterized constructor and uh, let's say name it parameterized constructor called then we are setting the id and then we have to perform uh, this task to do this we need to call the method again and now if we have to use the parameterized constructor we will pass the parameter and we can check the value of id by accessing the id attribute so when we run the program we see that it called the second constructor we see a different message then because we have to perform the same task and then the id now if you notice uh, we have two constructors and there is some duplicacy there is some duplicate code for example we are setting the id then we have to do something so we are calling this method now if we add another property and another constructor then we'll have to do the same thing again so for example if we add a new property let's say name then we have several options we can for example do something like this to accept the name as part of this constructor or we can add a new constructor to accept just the name right but the thing is again we have to call the do something method so there is some duplicacy and to avoid that uh, we we'll learn the concept of constructor overloading so let me remove revert the uh, uh, name attribute and keep it simple with the id uh, so we have two constructors again uh, for the id property now can we can we uh, can we keep it clean can we remove this uh, duplicate code to do this uh, we use the constructor overloading constructor overloading means a class can have multiple constructors and we can call one constructor from another constructor as part of the initialization to keep the code at a common place how do we do that we use that with the use of this keyword so in java this is uh, this is a keyword provided by the java uh, java runtime itself and this always points to the current object which is the active object when this code is running so to call one constructor from another constructor we call this and we because this is the default constructor so we need to pass the parameter to call the parameterized constructor and let's we'll say two three four and 
now we can remove the this assignment and let's see what is happening now so we are saying that whenever someone is calling the default constructor call the parameterized constructor and because it accepts an integer argument and because we have to always set it two three four so we can simply pass the two three four to this argument sorry to this constructor and then we are printing the message on the console but if you see we don't need to set the id anymore in this constructor and similarly because this constructor will always call do something we can remove this call as well so you can see it's pretty much clean as compared to the previous code we are essentially if we call the parameterized constructor from the default constructor using this then we are essentially setting the id to 234 because that is what we are passing then we are printing the message on the console and as part of this constructor it will call the do something so this is also being done now if we run the program we see because we call this first it will call this constructor first so we see parameterized constructor called then it will set the id property and call the do something so we see some task then the console goes back to the default constructor so we see default constructor called and then at the id 234 because that's what we passed then when it created the second object in this case we are directly calling the parameterized constructor so we see parameterized constructor call some task in 456 so that's how we use this keyword to call different constructors within the same class all we need to do is we need to pass the matching argument the one important thing with uh, this this call is that this must be the first call so we cannot say something like this this is not valid because now the first line in the constructor is some system dot out dot print and uh, constructor call this via this is the second line this is not allowed it must be the first line so this is allowed so anytime we want to use the constructor overloading via this keyword make sure that it is the first line in the constructor that's it on the constructor loading thank you